I don't know if you remember Expose. It's a little program that's on the uh, the Mac uh, that's basically the, it's a keyboard shortcut. And if you can't get to it, you can go to the system preferences and you can go to Expose and you can see how to activate it. And there's different F keys you can set up uh, or the secondary mouse keys. There's different combinations you can do to activate Expose. Let me show you what Expose actually does because there's, there's a, usually a keyboard uh, a button on the keyboard up here where you can actually uh, do that. And I'm going to do that here. It's on the left. It's the one with little boxes. And it kind of shows them all here. And one of the things that's changed in Snow Leopard is that it now shows minimized windows down here at the bottom. And it shows any windows that are still up up here at the top. So it helps me to not only see the windows that are up, but the ones that are minimized as well. Because maybe I wanted to get to uh, this web page that I wanted to get to. Um, I can minimize that. Then we hit Expose again. Now it's down in there. If I go to this document, it helps me to easily get to what I'm looking for. Um, let me see, open a new document here and type in hello. So I got a new document right there. So I can just do minimize that one. Hit Expose again. And now you see it's added down in here into the bottom. And that's one of the neat things about Expose. It helps you to easily find all your documents. You hit one button. You, know, you get lots of these windows that are stacked and piled up on top of each other. This can make it really easy for you to be able to say, oh, where are they? Where are they? Because it's a nice little thumbnail. It's like, ah, there's that video I was trying to find. It's behind several windows. There's that one, uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. So then I can take a look at that. Now, if I hide, if I do the uh, hide command, if you're not familiar with that, you have a file uh, option in here to QuickTime Player to actually to hide it, hide the QuickTime Player to keyboard shortcuts Apple H. And I do that all the time where I'll hide to get something completely out of the way. Now when I do that and I hit Expose, it doesn't show. It doesn't show it. It has to be minimized in order to get that. The next thing I want to talk about is the dock. Now the dock, you can see all these windows that I have minimized. And I keep, if I minimize everything, if I keep minimizing and minimizing and minimizing, it's, everything starts getting smaller in the dock and all these little things in here. It's like, which one's which? It's hard to tell. I know it was a browser window application, but I don't know which one it was. Well, there's another way that you can uh, modify this a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull this up, pull all these up. Why not? Let's just go crazy. Woo! OK. <laughs> one of the things you could do is in System Preferences, there is a dock control panel as well. So you click on the dock control panel, and it gives you options for the size of the dock. You can shrink it down or make it bigger. Uh, you can also do this little magnification thing. If you haven't seen that before, it does this woo, and you can adjust the magnification as to how big it goes. So it gives us kind of this woo. Anyway, that's kind of I don't like it, but. And you notice I have mine positioned to the right. You can do that too. You can put it at the bottom, the left, the right, whichever it is the way that you want. There's no way to really get it up on the top, although a friend of mine recently told me that there was a way you kind of had to go in and hack in the terminal a little bit uh, to change things a little bit. But it is possible to, to hide it. He really hates the dock. But I find it a rather useful tool. And one of the things I want to point out to you is there's minimize windows into application icon. So in the past, let me check that. And, and, uh, Go ahead and go back to show all. And in the past, when I used to minimize, it would zip down here, and I'd have all my open documents right over here. And now, when I do it, it's going to swip over to the icon. For instance, let me do a, a web browser one here. My Firefox icon's up here. Watch what happens when I minimize. It flew over there. And I'm going to minimize this one, too. It flies over there. And minimize that one. It flies over there. And now, Instead of having them all down here, I can actually click on it. And this is very much similar to what it is in Windows. Windows, you can do this uh, down in the taskbar, where you can click and see a list of your open windows. And now on the Mac, you can too. So you click on it, and you hold, and you, um, I'm sorry, you click on it. Let me uh, actually minimize that one. OK. So you right click. And when you right click on it, you see all your different ones. And you can choose which one it is that you actually want to open up. So that one pops up. Your others are still minimized down in here. OK? Yeah. Come up. There we go. So those are still minimized. OK? Now, one of the things you've also got is if you want to do it another way, so if I, I'm going to go ahead and minimize that if I want. Or if I'm trying to find those other windows, I can do sort of an expose for just the application. And I'll show you how you do that. I'm going to use Firefox as an example again. I'm going to click and hold. And when I do that, you'll see there's the main window I had up. And these are the other two that I had minimized. So if the, the titles aren't descriptive enough because someone labeled a web page untitled or something, or it's just blog, 
um, then you can actually go through here and see a visual and pick the one that you were trying to look at. You don't remember what it, the page was called, but you were reading one of the entries in some blog. You don't remember whose it was. Then that would be a way for you to be able to see little minimized versions. So it's kind of a nice little expose version for you to be able to do that. One of the things I've done on the web a lot is I'll find an image, I'll go to a website like uh, Assetechies, and I'll say, there's a nice image. I want to get that image uh, that he's got there. And what I can do is I can just click on that image, and I want to drag it. Oh, I need to drag it in that, wait, not that document. I want to drag it into that other document. Oh, shoot. Uh, now I got to go back here. I got to find the window, bring it to the front, and then drag it over. Well, it's easier now. Let me show you how. You click on the image. And let's say I'm going to go to text edit. I'm just going to drag and rest it over the, the icon in the dock. And now both my documents that are open in this program, I can slide and then decide to drop it into that document. And now that one's in the front to be able to add it. So it brings, brings it over to the front very easily for me to be able to add that image. So that might be a little bit of a time saver for you to be able to find the window that you're looking for. If you have multiple windows, probably the better solution is to have 15 computer screens on your desk, but most of us can't afford that, so you might have to find another solution. <laughs> okay, that's a neat way to go. Alrighty. Now, also in the dock, something else you should know is in the bottom, now you know down here in the applications, down here in your dock, you can have folders. And basically, I'll show you how you can do that. If I have a folder, if I want to say my movies folder, go to me. There's my movies folder. I can drag that over here into here. So I can have a quick shortcut to those, that thing I access all the time. Now, by default, when you do that, it automatically adds stacks of things. Let's see, right click. It automatically adds a stack. So it, it shows the most recent item that you've added to the top. But you can also say folder. And when you do that, it'll show the icon now for that folder instead of whatever was on the top. And that can be handy if you have documents folder and you also have a downloads folder and they both look like PDFs or Word documents, small icons. It's hard to tell which one's which. I prefer to have it that way. But the neat thing about what you have now is when you click on this and you view it in, like, say, icon view, then you can see your application. So instead of having them all in the dock, you can easily have them accessible through the applications folder. And then you can grab the slider bar here and scroll through to get what, to what you want. And what it does now is you can actually, like say, open utilities, you just click on that, and it pops up the utilities folder to where you can find like the old version of the QuickTime Player and other programs that you might want to access. You can also choose to open it in the Finder if you want, and it pulls it up in a, a list. Now, you do have the option here you know, on downloads. It's kind of nice, too, and that you can see icons of what you've got. But if you right-click, you can choose to also view as a, a list or automatic or grid. What we just saw was the grid, but you can also go list. And this is where you can see all your documents this way, with the most recent one at the top. So that may be kind of a helpful way for you to be able to, to download your files and um, where you can adjust whether you want it to be which way. I prefer the grid looks kind of nice to have nice large icons for what you're looking for.